Hi everyone, I'm Will Tran, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot slow speeds. There are minor things that can cause your internet speed to slow down. The good news is, is that you can troubleshoot them yourself. Alright, let's get started. Router. Solution. Removing it may solve issues with the router or other devices. Here we have a router, which is great for sharing your tech savvy connection, but there's a bit of a speed problem. Let's remove it to see if someone or something is creating an issue with our speeds by connecting a laptop or PC directly to the modem. Now let's run a quick speed test. Slow wireless speeds, distance. Let's look at our wireless lives now. Sometimes it will run a bit slower than what we expect. First, let's look at distance. I'm on the other side of the building and can barely connect. As we get closer, it improves. So let's try keeping the router as centralized as possible. Notice that the signal here is much better and provides us with much better coverage. Updates or drivers. Next, let's take a look at our wireless devices. Like our cars, we need to do a bit of maintenance to keep everything running smoothly. Your devices, such as your laptop or smartphone, may require updates from the manufacturer to perform at optimal levels. You can usually find these drivers on the website of the manufacturer. Let's test out our speeds now that we've got everything updated. Access points. If you happen to live in an area that has lots of wireless points, you may be losing connection or even speed on your wireless. You can try to fix that by simply changing the channel of your wireless router. Now let's take a look at how our changes affected our wireless. Electromagnetic interference. The final problem that most commonly occurs is when we treat our electronics like building blocks and stack them. Not only does this prevent the devices from venting heat, we also create an electromagnetic effect which hinders your wireless signals. The easiest way to fix this is to keep them separated from each other and not one on top of another. Follow my tips and you should be back to your normal internet speed in no time. We hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us at help.techsavvy.com. Also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.